Morning, mate. Morning, how you doing? Well, I'm afternoon. Good. Afternoon. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Um, so we've uh, we've added in fixed crop prices, which means we are up at Con Agra Mills with a load of soybeans to uh, start making some cash. Yes, much needed cash. Yeah, because you're desperate to pay the loan off because you have an aversion to credit in game. <laughs> yeah, look at that money. Whereas I tend to borrow as much as I can in a lot of time in a lot of things, unless I stop myself doing it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, if you do, you want to pay the loan off and stuff? Because wow, that's not bad. Wowzers, not bad. That's Nearly six hundred grand. I would say I'd give you a lift back, but the the door seems stuck. So <laughs> I'll I, walk. It's fine. I'll uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Hello. <laughs> there we go. Loan is gone. Cool. So the um, we're, we're going to sell the combines and the headers as well, as we spoke about. Um, and Caltech is going to pick up a new tractor because we're both fed up of trying to use the stupid AR. Are they ARs or seven Rs? I can't remember. I think, the, I think they just come out the window. I think they're eight Rs. Wow, we've got a lot for the combines. Um, yeah, we're fed up of using the AR to try and feed the cows, and we need something more sensible for tedding hay. So we do. Yes. Um, uh, at the moment, we currently have a 600 horsepower Challenger waiting on the tether, which it'll do the job. It'll do the job, but um, it, <laughs> it'll massively do the job. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I guess at some point we could pick more cows up with this much cash as well. We could, couldn't we? Actually, right. What were we going to buy? We were going for the Maxim. Yeah. We'll just go stick GPS on it. Yeah, no fat tires or anything, so we can get it through the door easily. Please. The wide tires don't actually go outside That's true. Of the fender, That's so true. we are uh, we're having them because they're not uh, your crazy flotation tires. <laughs> this is very true. Yes, not bad. Look at that money. That looks loads better. Yeah. Yeah, we are we are once again Kartek rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, which, is, uh, which is the thing. Actually, it was a good choice because it's a case dealership, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just driving near the case dealer and almost turning into it rather than on the entrance to our road. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do it that way. No. Right, let's get your Chubmobile out it's of the a way. Great tractor, better than that stupid fence. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. It's a lot more. Um, it actually goes around corners. Able. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I I was bringing Kit back from the field while we were while we were getting ready, and the uh, the fence ended up doing a few three sixties as I wasn't paying attention while it was while it was going in a straight line and I had to turn quickly and it just does not behave. It doesn't at all. You can just be doing the simplest of thing and yeah, it, uh, it just goes all to pot. So we are going to mow the area near the field we did the soybeans in, aren't we? Yes. Everything, okay. everything is down there ready. Thank you. Another two hundred thousand liters of soybeans loading up. Rather this good. Is going to yeah. No, we don't need those for the production. That's good. How is the production doing anyway? Um, I haven't looked. It is chugging. Slowly. Chugging. Yeah. Uh, we probably just need need to in the background progress time a bit and move the rest of the stuff down there. Yeah, that's a good shout. But yeah. this is pretty much the last day we have to stuff to do really, because um, the rest of the crops are spring planting. Yeah. So probably between videos we'll do the job that I actually it won't be too bad on here. 
because the cows don't eat very much but we'll do the kind of progressing through winter thing which is uh yeah be less painful because yeah. the cows don't eat any food yes i think um it's a lot easier to manage this grass field or grass area goes for absolute ages um i'm not going to do all of that now it is oh you've gone way up into the corner yeah it goes i was seeing how far it went round, and yeah. uh, it goes to the back of the other field so yeah no i wasn't i wasn't intending that we would do all of that because uh otherwise we'll be here all day we will indeed yeah I am on the correct side of the road. Awesome. I do struggle with that yeah. on here because we have traffic on still. I have to actually pay attention. Yeah, and avoid the vans. Yes. Whereas gen generally I switch it off because traffic's bad. It's not the most intuitive of um, AI, is it, really? No, it's, it's slightly frustrating because one of the things that Giants pushed as being improved in 22, and it really does not feel like it is. Um, they yeah. still, still pull out right in front of you and break right in front of you. Yes, I think, um, yeah, could do better would be the, uh, mm. yep, the feeling with that the, one. The school report for the year. Yeah, it sounds like my ones. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? Yeah, it's... Um, blimey, it's going back a few years, that. Yeah, well, probably decades. It is, yeah. Was it in black yeah. and white still? Yeah, chalkboards and all that. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember when, when I was at uni, um, they had rolling chalkboards. Yeah. Because um, some of the lecturers will still like to work in chalk. Um, right. And they would have a bank of three of these rolling chalkboards. Oh, uh, yeah, um, I know what you mean. And it was amazing how much stuff they would write in an hour, and you'd have to yeah. sit and just copy it out. <laughs> I, I suspect they don't do that anymore. No. No, it'd be all digital whiteboards now, won't it? Yeah, I'm trying to think when, because uh, we've, we've done a few op university open days recently, and I don't remember seeing yeah. a single blackboard. No. No, it's, yeah, I suppose you, you might have been at the era where they used to throw the markers at you still. Uh, there were some teachers that, I, I think it was chalkboard rubbers that some of them yeah. liked. Yeah. That's, yeah, get, that's what I meant, not board markers. Yeah, probably get you arrested these days. It, it probably would, yes. Or stabbed by one of the kids that you were trying to teach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't envy it. No. Not, not at all. No, one of my friends, I don't know if she, she, was, a, she was a teacher, but she did um, A-level only because she didn't want to teach young kids. Yeah. Um, one of my other friends did used to teach GCSE level. Uh, he he ended up changing jobs. <laughs> yeah. It's um, it's most it's got to be rewarding at times, but mm. I think also, yeah, no thanks. Yeah. I know a bunch of people that left where I work to go into mm. teaching because it was. Uh, I don't know if they saw it as an easy option or whether they felt it was going to be more rewarding or better paid or whatever. Um, yeah, and I more think holiday. only half of them actually stuck it out. Really? Uh, yeah. It's only slightly yeah. more holiday. I mean, I, I get six and a half weeks a year anyway, so... That's just not fair. Uh, what's worse is only half of the company get that. Oh, who? Based on... Well, we, um, we used to be a part of the civil service got you okay. and uh so we got civil service holidays and they get lots of extra ones yeah yeah and then we were privatized and they removed all of that extra stuff oh so if you were employed after a certain date you get 25 i think yeah um so yeah but of course there's a little bit of resentment within the company i'll bet <laughs> 
I I, yeah. I, I was lucky. I, I joined six months before we switched. Oh, oh. Um, time that well then? Yes. Yeah, it was quite 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 well planned. Well, not planned, but quite well timed. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. It's quite nice having that much leave. I quite and often end up having to just take random days off towards the end of the year. It's, uh, Make the, sure you don't lose it. Yeah, yeah, it's a real first world problem. You know, it's like, well, I've got too much yeah. holiday to take. How awful! Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. How are you getting on with the mowing? I'm almost back. I am on the second headland. Cool. I will jump in the little case and uh, do some heading. Yes, don't make it smell. I'll, I'll try not to. I didn't have those dodgy sausages again, so we should be okay. Excellent news. <laughs> oh, they were so right. bad. Yeah. I, 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 I can still remember how bad they were. Do not buy Tesco's finest pork and leek sausages ever. <laughs> Uh, other brands are available yes. and might be better. Yeah. Yes, other, other brands of sausage. In fact, other flavours within that brand are available. Yes. And are most definitely better. We're, we've got over $2 million now. We've made... Oh, we No, we haven't. We've got 2 million quid. Oops. No, no, no. I, I, I've got dollars over here. Yeah. I am... Um, yeah, $2 million... $2 million Euros, pounds. Yep, it's in all the, the same. Of, uh, ten minutes. It's not bad, is it? I don't it's know what these farmers are whinging about about not being able to make money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Easy. Exactly what they are been on about. Yeah. Very easy. I don't. Um, do you watch Harry's Farm at all? I have in the past. I've not watched it, him for. A while, I think, because he's because uh, he doesn't post regularly. Mm. I, I almost forget about him. But yeah, he's quite infrequent. He posted one recently yeah. about um, how the crops are doing and stuff. Yeah, um, and he's pretty much lost an entire field of, I'll say, canola. So we don't have to say the yeah. other word. Um, yeah. And yeah, because they're not allowed to use a certain fungicide on oh, like as, as a seed treatment. And- yeah, yeah. They can't use a certain fungicide as a seed treatment, and so he's lost a huge amount of crop. Um, and he said he's never going to, he's not going to grow it again at the moment. Really? Um, and quite a lot. Uh, there's a lot less of it around where I am. Um, and it used to be that the um, the big arable farms near me would have field mm. after field. Yeah. Of uh, of canola or OSR growing and yeah. uh, there's one I think and oh, to wow. be fair their crop looks awful as well I wonder if they've got the same problem um, I thought it was it's a field that geese roost in um, when, uh, they, when they winter over here Yeah. Um, which most years destroys a lot of the crop but I wonder whether they've had the same problem because um, it's very patchy and yeah, he's um, Harry said that he was switching to growing a non-food bean mixed bean oh, crop because I think he gets a subsidy for it. Oh, and well, we would the UK will then be importing canola. Oh, blimey! Because well, as as less if less if more farmers follow suit. Yeah. Um, which is nuts, isn't it? Because we're it's just, mad, really. We'll buy it. I kind of chat about it on Discord yesterday. We'll buy it from a country that will use that fungicide or yeah. whatever because they can grow it much more cheaply. Yeah. Um, and they don't run the risk of losing it. Yeah. yeah. It is, that is ridiculous. I mean, there's loads around here. Yeah. Because it's all now. It's all in flower, uh, isn't it? In flower, yeah. I was going to say in seed, but in flower. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they look really good. But oh, I might have to give that a watch. Yeah, it's it's, it's uh, his his stuff is I I find quite interesting because he usually does talk about some of the other aspects of it. Yeah, um, rather it, than yeah. 
rather than just oh look i'm spraying a field um yeah yeah exactly i was gonna say it's not just this is what i'm doing on the farm today this is the sort of yeah financials behind he did a really good one about miscanthus a while ago mm-hmm. as well um because it, it was quite a while ago because that's that's mm. another i think it's another crop that's pretty heavily subsidized for alternative energy oh um because it goes through think, goes through biogas plants and stuff like that yeah and so i think again that was quite heavily subsidized by the alternative energy industry in terms of you know money to help plant it and stuff yeah um so that's quite a cool one uh, more so for someone like me who's a bit of a bga fan in game um, are you in case you didn't realize <laughs> and uh, the other, i i really enjoyed yeah. miscanthus as a crop in fs19 because it was part of all of the um the forage extension maps uh maze plus okay. yeah um it was one weirdly it was, it was one of those crops it's not quite as bad as poplar it doesn't take quite that long to grow right um, it was one of those crops that i would always plant in like the last year that i was on a map and it'd be one of the last okay. things that i would harvest for some reason it just kind of worked out that way it wasn't intentional yeah. um but it, it looks ever... really cool yeah I don't think I ever no, used you, it. You were a different class of player back then, weren't you? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> you were... Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of a shame in a way, and I understand why it didn't happen, that elements of that didn't ever, you know, like people didn't implement some of the crops. I guess yeah. the closest was Sandy Bay with Oxy and... I think that you, I think you could only add two or three extra crops on console before you hit all the limits. Yeah, so, I think um, I think the only ever the different ones I used were the ones that were on Chellington. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure that Attingham had onions. And Pro- maybe carrots. Probably. I think. Because um, um, a bit like Oxy back then, GB had his maps farming agencyed with the PC oh, version. Right. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't have. Yeah, I think it was, ooh, it was a bit of a like spike. Carrots and onions and maybe something like triticale or rye added in. Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I think yeah, but I did like the. Um, I can't remember the ones on Chellington. Yep. There was a one. It might wasn't. It was a. I'm sure it was a grass. It might have been clover. There. Yeah, I think he. There was an extra crop that he added, wasn't there? Um, it wasn't sorghum, yeah. was it? No. It was definitely a. I'm sure it might, I think it was, it was either alfalfa or clover. Yeah. It was a, definitely a grass. Can't I can't remember. I, I, well, I think there were a few. Cause I'm, sure, I'm sure I remember he created a new crop for Chellington. Oh. Um, I'm going to have to Google it while I try and drive now. Oh, no. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. It's been a while, <laughs> I don't remember all this stuff. I know it does. It, I mean, I think I spent the remainder of nineteen on Attingham. So, mm. yeah, I think Chellington was one, was my one before that. Maybe. Don't believe that. That's not an official version. Because huh. it said it had lentils and chickpeas. Oh, oh! It might have been. It might have been lentils. Hmm. That oh. does sound familiar. No, I... linseed and cuttable hedges. Yeah, linseed was the one I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh, 
and then it brought the PC version up so it had all the Maze Plus stuff as well but I oh, don't know okay, what yeah. the console version had but it, I think I'm pretty sure it had Linseed yeah um, that mark that does ring a bell and that was a very nice crop mm. I remember yeah well it's nice in 22 as well isn't it yeah I, I never it's really a shame that yeah I never it's a shame that there's it. one sorry I keep talking over yeah. I never got to it on Carmson I don't think yeah I think I did it a couple of times I think but it's a shame that well it's it, as it's only one map no one's going to make a mod that's like I think we've talked about this before like linseed oil or mm. um, cricket bats yeah oh. do you know <laughs> like that sort of yeah. wood wood turner wood mill yeah make the, make the planks yeah and I, I, you I, need I, the oil to treat them yeah know. yeah because you, you don't really use anything other than linseed oil for that do you no um but yeah, uh, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's something that could be made specific for a map for that mm. map. I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess the problem with with that is that you'd need to put effort into creating extra stuff like pallets of linseed oil and pallets of cricket bat. Yeah, um, it's not one that you can just do. You know, simple stuff. No, it's not like you can just use yeah i know what you mean mm -hmm. yeah you can't just use something that's already there you have got to put that additional effort in yeah or it would be cool there are you know i guess it's like making wooden bowls and stuff mm. i know it's very specific to but it's which, not now is it which i've never done no i've not done any of the things that came with silver run no no mainly because they just don't interest me you know? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, uh, we, we were well, no, not 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 some of us weren't, but there was there was a bit of a joke yesterday on the um, the Terra Life stream about um, building a spaceship, like building a roller coaster. Okay, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, that I got mean... shut down, but you know, yeah. On on the Florida map, where you've got Cape Canaveral and. Uh, on the Florida map. Yeah. Yeah. Build a spaceship. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. I think... Um, I don't know. I think we may have even said this before. That map... And... It was so targeted to... A specific audience. I think mm. it was a bit... Yeah. Narrow-sighted because... Because it's a big market. Know, it is, and that's the and that's the thing, isn't it? And yeah, yeah it's, I guess you do have to play to. It's their biggest customer base. Yeah, you, yeah. you know. Well, that that's not. I'm not sure that's right. Uh, the US is their biggest customer base, I think. Yeah. Not necessarily that style of play is their biggest customer no. base, and I think that's the bit that. If it had been a more mixed map, because there were three or four fields on there. Something like that, yeah. You know, they, they, if they'd have got the balance better, I think it would have been less frustrating. Yeah. Um, I mean, I've. I'm just trying to think. I think I used it for one video. I think I used it for one of the course play tutorials I did, just because it was interesting. Yeah. Oh, didn't you do? Um did the bunker silo one on there i think it was the bunker silo one wasn't it yeah, yeah. and i've used i've used the volvo wheel loaders a couple of times because they are really nice particularly the huge one yeah um but and i've used the the logging winch that came that well i've used a modded version of a logging winch that came that yeah. needed the dlc mm -hmm. yeah um yeah i mean saying all that I don't know if you've seen it. Um, the logging league that uh, mm. Args in FSG. Yeah, I've not created. watched any of it. No, I'll, you know, if I can, I'll watch the stream on those. And it's, it is a lot of fun to watch. Um, and some of the skills that people have got, 
using the loaders and all that sort of thing is you know is phenomenal um but yeah as for actually doing it and actually wanting to get on there and play it i'm not overly mm. interested I'd rather watch somebody else do it yeah it's probably although i don't find it that entertaining a bit i was going to say a bit like fsl um, yeah but i actually don't watch it, yeah. I, I actually don't find that that entertaining to watch um uh, uh, the idea of competitive farm sim is a bit weird yeah yeah i don't know i don't think i've ever watched any of that but I yeah watched, the logging league is good fun yeah i watched a bit of it last year or the year before yeah. um not you know only like maybe an hour or something it was uh yeah, yeah it's not my thing no but again people are incredibly good at it i would imagine hmm. yeah yeah i mean the, 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 it it's weird because you people kind of work out sort of ex exploity because it's, it's essentially well the version the one that i watched was essentially harvesting and baling straw or like harvesting mm. a combine and baling straw and you deli delivering the bales got you points okay um, yeah. and people found quite i'm going to say creative ways to move as many bales as possible <laughs> yeah um and so there was, you know, it, it, it's literally, it, it's more like using the farm sim engine to do some sort of competitive gaming. Yeah. It's not yeah. like that. No, no, it's fair enough. Um, and what, one but, of the, I don't know if he's still in the team, one, um, um, Paul used to be in one of the teams for FSL, and oh, right. um, Paul, who's the other head of the farming agency i think still is mm, okay. um so yeah but it's it's not my thing no I'm, I'm not not really a huge fan of competitive gaming yeah i know what you mean either am i because i'm normally not very good at it <laughs> yeah partly that partly <laughs> yeah. that um I'm, I'm not more player versus player gaming i just don't like I think it's just don't like interacting with the other people in games quite often. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's probably not a problem in Farm Sim, but with, um, you know, having played a game that had lots of cheating in it. Yeah. And that disadvantaging you in player versus player. Oh, it was, okay, uh, yeah. you know, it, it was less enjoyable to engage in that half of the game. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. So I stopped. Yeah, that's fair enough. You um, take yourself away from the. Yeah, and you, you can't completely withdraw yourself from it because you can still be, you're still a target, essentially. Right. Um, but I just, I, I, I actually have been playing it again recently, and uh, but I just played the the sort of, the stuff that the game developers put in rather than interact with the other humans. Got you, yeah. Quite a nice way to be, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd rather deal with an algorithm. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're more predictable. Yeah, well, yeah. Can't it, it can't argue. Uh, and it, it doesn't message you when it gets upset either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, I remember years ago, I think, like, I think it must have been one of the Call of Duties, I can't remember which one. And playing online for the first time and being not very good at it at all um and then it's like all right i'm just going back to my single player campaign or whatever it was called yeah. but it on easy mode and yeah yeah the only anyone that i've played that was close to that is um the whatever the first version of counter strike was um okay. one, one of my friends convinced me it was like the best game to play ever really um and so I got it when I got a PC and played one online multiplayer game and went back to when I did play it, playing it on easy mode against bots because it was just kind of, yeah, running around pretending to be a special forces soldier, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
but yeah actually the, the, the one that I got closest to enjoying was World of Warships I didn't go okay. I didn't go that deep into it I was never got you know into like the super high tier ships but I kind of enjoyed playing that a little bit I don't think um, I've ever seen that uh, yeah, it, yeah, it's kind of kind of fun. It's it's a much slower pace shooting game, right. which suits old people. Right. Um, you know, it's not it's not like Call of Duty fast or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's just gently driving around in your big old battleship and uh, just kind of hammering away at stuff. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I um I don't yeah I think um, I tell you what I do like, and I haven't played for absolute years. It's like the um, oh what would you describe it as? Like the flight sim type mm. jets, one, um, one, War Thunder. No, oh, that was maybe like the other remember. stuff. I did, I did play that for a little while, but that's really hard to control on keyboard and mouse. Yeah, so that was Xbox. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I am. I, um, oh, I've stopped myself. Um, yes, I, I quite like the jets and all that lot. Um, and there's ones where you, you know, after you do like the cover missions and all that sort of thing. But yeah, it's. And I quite liked in Call of Duty when you're using the big. Can't even think of the plane name now, like the big gunship type ones. The AC one thirty. That's it, yeah. When you're using them. That is a yes. that is a beastly bit of kit in the real world. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen one. I've I, I've only seen videos on YouTube, but yeah. it's uh Yeah. It's a that's yes. a, 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 only only America would dream up that idea. Like, let's take a big transport plane and stick a howitzer out of the side of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, they, uh, yeah, I just haven't played anything like that for ages now. That's the mowing done. Awesome. I'm halfway through Teddy, so. Super. But, uh, it's. For being on here, it's quite nice having a normal tractor. <laughs> yeah. But I, was, yeah. I, was, I was rambling about it in the Maple Farm video that's going to release in a few hours' time. Um, even on there, of the tractors that I have available, I gravitate towards kind of the medium-sized ones. Yeah. A lot. Just because they fit better. It's not quite the case on here, but they fit better. I know what you mean. For, for doing stuff. Um, yeah, that one should make certainly feeding the cows mm. a lot more simpler. Or a yeah, might want to grab a front weight for it to counterbalance the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Shame you couldn't put one on your truck earlier. Yeah, that was a very clever idea. It did, it did the job. It did the job. The the magic of farm sim and not needing to connect all of the hydraulics up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Back but, to manual attach again. Yeah, but yeah, it did. It did need a, a bit of a front weight on it. <laughs> yeah. um, I think I was sat in the fence, just hovering, and uh, yeah, so you're trying to position yourself to get into the uh, cow shed. Mm. Let's leave it at that. Okay? <laughs> yeah, it, again, it, a bit like your fence. It was just a bit light on the front end. <laughs> Yeah, a bit uh, squiggly. Yes. What do you got? Two, three passes? Yeah, something like that. I'm, I'm doing it freehand, so. Cause it's yeah, a I slightly didn't unusual bother. shape. Yes, it's a weird one. I'll try not to destroy the first windrow that you're creating. Thank you. That would be. If I'd have thought about it, I could have gone the other way, couldn't I, and started some up and downs first, but... Yeah, yeah. Didn't. But, you know, that would have been easy, wouldn't it? 
It would. That would have made my it life would. easier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you care about that, hey? Well, yeah, make things more difficult. It's more fun. Oh, that's good. It does actually lift high enough to clear the windrow. Oh, super. Had that before. Super. I have, yeah. <laughs> when you get a particularly good swath. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Flings it back everywhere. Just touches it and uh, destroys everything. All that hard work. Yep. It would have been much more sensible for you to be at that end of the field. You know. Yeah. I'll, um. Yeah. I'd, I'd probably I'll start do. Start the other side. Yeah, it might be worth doing a couple of headlands. Yeah, I think so. Just to give us room, because um, main, mainly for the end that you're approaching, where there's quite a lot of trees. Yes, there is. Okay, that's fine. It's a very serene pace today, isn't mm -hmm. it? Quite nice, steady, yeah, easy job. It no is. auto driving course play to go wrong. Manage, <laughs> go wrong. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it, it's not been kind to me lately. So, uh... No, I couldn't work out from your Greenlands one mm. what was going on with that. No, and what would have been the best? It, it's, it's mode. Yeah, it's left me a little bit. Um, did some stuff on Maypole the other day, and uh, mm. I I used, ended up using base game workers to do it because it was easier. Yeah. And sometimes I just don't feel like doing all that setup stuff. Yeah, uh, I think as well, sometimes it doesn't actually make it much quicker. You're better off, you, but sometimes you can be better off sticking a base game worker on it and then just going tidying up mm. afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I used you know, one of the, uh, the mechanic where you can... Um, get the game to fill flurry tanks from from the pen automatically uh, okay yeah uh, I was like yeah I can't be bothered to try and set auto drive up to drive halfway to go and pick it up to go pick it up yeah. just do that and uh, I couldn't get course play to do it weirdly um, course play wouldn't work and take from the tanks so it's like just use a base game worker and it worked great yeah yeah see it's things like that like you, you not forget, but now the fact that, well, more so because now I'm on PC where you can use, you know, auto drive mm. and course play to go and do that for you. But yeah, I always used to set it to take from a, a store on, on 19 on console, you know, go yeah. and set the worker. Yeah. Or I, I, buy I, it if it was cheap. You know. Yeah, no, I, I used to do it on some of the PC stuff that I used to do before I started doing videos. It's like, yeah. just easy. It used yeah. to work with course play quite well as well. Mm. So you just like set okay. course play up, set it, take from one of the animal pens, and you just kind of had easy, unlimited fertilizing. Yeah. Well, not quite unlimited, but you know, depending on how many animals Ooh. you had. Yes. Yeah. It was, but yeah, um, it is one of those ones where it's like, oh, I could do that. Yeah, sort of feature that forget. Yeah, and uh, it's not one that I've seen. I've, I've, I've missed a couple of videos, but even like Mr. CDP, I don't see him using that a lot. But I guess he tends oh, to true. sell things like slurry and manure more than put them on fields. Yeah. Or put them yeah, through production. He, uh, he doesn't seem to. I guess because you know it's it's more efficient to put them through a production and produce solid or liquid fertilizer and apply that. Yeah, yeah. I I I've I've enjoyed a good chunk of his Edgewater videos so far. I haven't actually yeah. watched any. He's doing yeah. he's doing some things which are interesting. Yeah. And to be fair, they are probably a lot of work to do on console. Um, yeah. 
but he's doing he's doing jobs for the local uh, chamber of commerce or whatever um, okay rock picking fields and things so i think he's buying the fields rock picking them and then selling them back got you um yeah. which is a lot of work i'm sure um mm. but they are very very generous in how much they pay him to rock pick a field oh okay um which is yeah you know doesn't really matter but no it's, you know, it's like guess, one of those things he's yeah. doing it wrong not making it hard uh, enough yeah I think um, yeah I always I remember um, I can't actually remember what series it was on of his on 19 mm. and he did a video showing how he sets up it a was. save it was not Attingham. It Six was, Ashes. Yes. And the amount of effort mm. that that bloke puts in. Yeah. So, like, um, bales, you know, max, you know, government subsidiary signs or whatever it was, mm. loan, um, get all the bales sorted. And then how he got the money back down. Yeah, the leasing. By leasing yeah, that massive bulldozer. I think um, that's a really good little trick for stuff like that. How he does yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, uh, that is very, very clever." Mm. Um, but uh, yeah, it's yeah. I just think fair play to you. You know. Yeah, he does. Yeah, the bloke gets a lot of stick. He does a um, lot of work in his let's plays. Yeah, I'm yeah. not denying that. He's uh, yeah, it's, and, and some of them I really enjoy. Some of them yeah. are just not my cup of tea, basically. Um, yeah, you know. Okay. Mm. Welcome back, mate. Thank you. Stage <laughs> yeah. of getting in the way. Ugh, shocking, isn't it? Shocking. Let's get this baler going. Big bales, big bales. Yep. They are 240 centimetres. Very good. And it's purely because it's the most efficient way of transporting it all to the shed. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Um, and have you... I don't know. You might have. I'm, I'm a couple of videos behind on your stuff. Have you used the, the new bale storage that came with the update? at all i have not yet um, i really like them they do look really good mm. i've not seen a few people use them and i think the fact that you can put anything any any size type of bale and it will tell you i think is yeah 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 it's really nice i'm uh it's a really good addition from giants i think yeah, mm. yeah they're quite unexpected mm. I Not, think I uh, it's a good addition from Giants. I didn't mean it like that, but that or that element of the update was unexpected. Yeah, I, I've seen mixed answers on whether it helps the console folks with bail limits. But okay, yeah. Um, I've not really noticed it because I've got three of them on Greenlands. Yeah, and I think it's less laggy than when I had just the equivalent amount of bales stacked up. Yeah. I guess, um, yeah, because it's it's like the pallet warehouses, isn't it? I guess that they it, it takes the the count away. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it does or not. So no, because um, I, I don't. The only person I watch playing console is Mr. CDP, and um, mm. I know he has used one, but I got a bit frustrated watching that video, so I switched it off. Oh, fair enough. Um, so I don't know if he found that it saved on bail count in the end. Um, no, I'm not. So I'm not sure. I'm trying to. There is another guy that I subscribed to that plays on console, and he did have a video on it, but I haven't watched it. Okay. Um, 
I can't remember his name, which is quite bad, but he posts um, like console mod reviews mostly because I found him because oh. he did a mod review of my first mod. Okay. Because when I, I'm sure you will do it when it released, I just went on YouTube and repeatedly searched for the name of my mod. Yeah. So that I yeah. could see what people were saying about it, and uh, and then watching them and commenting and telling them what they were doing wrong. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I, I am hopefully going to get to that point. Yeah. There's a, um, oh, what's his name? I think I know who you mean. Oh, it's not Farmer Andy. No. 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 I'm going to get my phone out again. It's in yeah. my list of I'm subscribe channels. To him, if it's the, if it's him. Um, yeah. I'm not subscribed on that account. I'm subscribed on that account. We're both doing the same thing. Yeah. So it's right. remember, remember, kids, don't play with your phone and drive. I'm now just trying yeah. to find. I I know what his um. Andy's tell. farm. No, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Oh. I'll keep scrolling. Oh, I've just. I've stopped because attention. Because otherwise I'm going to crash. Um, I can't see him in the list now, which is Looney Farm Guy. Oh, never heard of him. Quite a small channel. Okay. Um, he just oh no, not so small now actually. Two and a half k subscribers. Wow. Um, I'm pretty sure last time I looked, he was a lot less than that. But he basically, he pretty much, almost all of his videos are, he does, like Mr. CDP, he does mod reviews, but he does one mod per video. Oh, if you right, just okay. want okay. to see a particular a specific, mod, yeah. you can just watch the video. It's, uh... I must say, that's what I like about um, DJ's uh, videos. Is he, um, what are they called? Not timestamps, chapters. chapters. Yeah. Um, because I think you know sometimes something catches you. I think, oh, I'd quite like to have a look at that, and then you can just jump. Yeah, jump. You haven't got to actually pay too much attention as to. Uh, yep. I'm, what I, are you what you watching? I, I have very definitely done that in his videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think they do it in the Farm Sim Show podcast as well. Oh, do they? Okay, I don't think um, I've ever watched. Because uh, there's been occasionally those. been those where there's been a topic I've wanted to watch yeah um, rather than the whole thing yeah I know what you mean yeah. And, uh, yeah being able to jump ahead is quite good no. it was just when they were talking it was one of the times they were talking about modding and people charging for mods and stuff mm. oh okay and it was uh, yeah it was quite interesting seeing different people's opinions on it yeah, but it was actually because uh, yeah. even between between DJ and Clutch, Clutch, there was a difference of opinion. Really, I'm also doing a really bad job of picking up with the roads. That's not very good, is it? I should probably start recording again. Have you sorted the dogs out? I haven't. Miss it has. Oh, fair play. <laughs> and I've switched the case off for you. Thank you, I can see. I would, from there, um, start the up and downs. That's what I'm doing. Because I'm just merging this second headland, this side, into yep. the... Yeah, that's fine. Into the long runs shouldn't take too long hopefully fingers crossed which is good because we were trying to make this short and so far it's not we <laughs> yeah yeah we just get to a random topics don't we i suppose yeah. it's, it's no bad thing and it's how long this job takes so, well yeah. yes and we tend not to do what we do in everything else and just edit big chunks out because we ram ramble through would it be useful if I did the headland in front of me? Oh, yeah, that'd be epic. Please. 
because when we're chatting and I'm trying to look up who we think we're subscribed yeah, to, and I'm to clearly wiping out the uh, things. wiping out the row. So yes, that would be brill. Kick those bales out the back. Do like that feature. Oh, you can just uh, empty unload. The, yeah, empty your load. Really? <laughs> you had to pull out in front of me, didn't you? <laughs> you were being inappropriate. <laughs> a mature audience? But, uh, well, mostly, no, no, yeah. it's, it's an old yeah. audience. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How to make friends and uh, yeah. alienate people. Uh, it, always, one. it always amazes me looking at the distribution of audience yeah because um, most are slightly younger mm -hmm. they're like the age group younger than me and okay the biggest segment is the US yeah Just. I think the US my second I think yeah it, it's good. very close but it's the biggest segment is the US which I find really weird particularly as I'm really good at saying nice things about them <laughs> but I think <laughs> they probably agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I think uh, there's probably that element of, yeah, we have got a, a bonky uh, 52 fridges to a football field or whatever. Yeah. I haven't done one of those in a while. It is, no. I, I spent far too long working some of those out. Really? Yeah. Oh, it was when you were asking chat GPT, yeah. wasn't it? Yep. Yep. <laughs> trying to get something which is not designed to do maths to do maths didn't end well yeah. well it did it gave me an answer in the end I worked, it did, well it did yes worked, that is it was fair. like cougars per football field as a unit <laughs> of uh, yield yeah that was it perfectly sensible yeah yeah how else do you measure yield you know None of this well, liters, liters per acre or hectare or whatever. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. Uh, it's not work wanting me to do things. I should know that you're busy. Well, yes. Oh. And now we are merrily driving out of the field. There we go. Let's get that back on. You good? I am good, all good. Cool. Yes, all good. There's a, uh, there's a lot more bales coming off of here than I, I was expected. just about to ask how uh, you're getting on, how many we've I've, done. I have no idea because See, can we? we don't have oh. any um, DLCs installed that add a bale counter. We didn't put the Govan on done, did we? Nope. Don't. Nope. Never mind. We did not. Never mind. And you can't tell in multiplayer. Nope. That is quite an annoying feature. Yeah, I was just thinking, I wonder why I'm that is. assuming because they wouldn't be able to give individual farm counts. It would only give you total yeah. for the play session. So if you're doing multiple, there's more than one farm, you wouldn't know which, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I what assume that's why. Yeah, it bugs me on maypole when i'm doing stuff because mm. i now always start that as a multiplayer game yeah and so i lose that feature which is a little bit annoying yeah that's the only downside to it isn't it i suppose because i don't have any dlcs active on that one either no no i was uh, chatting about that earlier i was doing what was i doing Oh, I was stacking some bales on Attingham. And, uh, yeah, it's all about, again, I, it, it, I, it is good fun. I, I do enjoy the 
I know we said it last week, but whatever. It's it's not as bad as you think once you get into it. No, exactly. Absolutely right. Yeah. The bit and I'm it's... the bit I'm yeah. finding amusing is the amount of research that um, people are interested in doing suddenly to find out when things were invented. <laughs> yes, I won't say anything, but yeah, no, absolutely. And it's like, ooh, I was because I was thinking to myself here. I was like, I wonder when Merlot came out. Yeah, the the one <laughs> that's that'd be nice. the one that's available is a bit too modern, but there aren't any old telly handlers. Telly handlers. So that's that's yeah. why the Merlot's installed because um, yeah, it, it felt like the best compromise. Yeah, and it's not like it's the new rounder shape ones no. that um, the likes of Ollie Blogs and that have got, is it? It's quite so, um, I, I could see looking. Yeah, I could definitely see one of those appearing at some point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, I think as well, even for um, just you yeah. to use, because yep. with the fact that it, you can stick a um, it takes a PTO. Mm. It'd be a really nice bit of kit to have. Be a good thing to have. And all the bail uh, handling. Oh, it, yeah. It, it, it might be a, a winter purchase mm. when I get Ooh. into doing TMR again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, good shout out that. During, during the kind of growing season, it's not so bad because yeah. the zero grazing takes care of most of the feeding. Yeah, I did see you posted that video, didn't you? The link yeah. to it. Yeah. About actually, people do do it. Yeah, and there's been a few. That I can't remember. That there was another one that I saw last year, and they basically just filled the loading wagon up, backed it into the mm. shed, and dumped it all in. Yeah. Who was I? I think it was. It was a Tom Pemberton video. Yeah, uh, I'll say years ago because months and months ago he went to visit someone because right? he mm. was looking at the, um, the pressure upper. Yeah, and they did the. It was just sort of a sticker loading wagon in, and then push it out to the side, mm. sort of job. Um, so yeah, not sure if they were running maze plus or not. I don't know. I was, I was watching one. Who was I watching? Um... I was watching some, a, uh, I'll get there, Saska Dutch Farmer. Oh, they yeah. were definitely running Maze Plus because they were running cut, sh they were running Sugar Beet Pulp. Oh, okay. Um, they they used the Sugar Beet Pulp in the feeding. Oh, that's cool. I was like, yep, they've installed Maze Plus. <laughs> Have they done the update? Yeah. I read the manual. Yep, probably not. No. Probably not. Well, yeah. The manual Appear probably be... needs updating as well, so we won't mention the manual. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a few <laughs> updates behind on that. Shocking behaviour. One I job. Know. I know. One job. What's really quite frustrating with that is almost no one reads it. Mm. Pretty much. And then someone will ask yeah. a question and they'll go and read it and they'll go, but this bit's wrong. It's like, yeah, I haven't updated it yet since the last update. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like it's that R T F M, yeah. but then that bit's not in it. <laughs> yeah, but that bit's not in there yet because because no one reads it. If it was if it was used a lot, it would be something that I would you know I'd keep on top of updating more. But I know what you mean. Yeah, so. yeah. I've still got my couple of printouts <laughs> sat on my desk. But, uh, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things, isn't it? You're going to be really busy with Terra Life Plus as well, so. Yeah, I'm not looking forward you, to doing the manual do? for that. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I didn't write much of the man the uh, first version of the manual from Maze Plus. Most of it, the I think it was originally written in German. Okay. And someone else translated it from German to English. Oh. And then I edited the English version. Got you. And then the edits to the English version went in back into all the other versions uh, we'll see I see yeah um, some, someone else did the bulk of the initial writing yeah um, no, I think it's going to be um, a hefty document mm. 
it, from the hour and a bit of a stream that I caught last week, not uh, not the not yesterday's one. Yeah, the the one from yeah, this week makes it even blue. weightier. Really? Oh yeah. Oof. Oh yeah. Blimey. With lots of stuff that's only hinted at. But, oh, okay. Well, it's kind of spoken about, but no details are given. Oh, um, with you. yeah. But yeah, that's going to make it even weightier. Goodness me. Um, I pretty much forget most of what you know about how farm sim works with crops. Yeah, just assume very little. Yeah, and uh, and <laughs> I, I I know nothing of what's in the works for that kind of stuff because I don't see uh, most of the development stuff I don't see yet. Um, but yeah, there's so much like at the moment and it's not going to change it's hard coded to at least four day seasons oh um so you can't go any lower i don't know if you can go higher but you can't go any lower okay and what's the what's the logic just for that do you, do you know or? to yeah so that the growth um transitions and stuff will behave Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, um, makes sense. If you try and do things too quickly, it can upset things. Mm. Um, to be honest, I think you're going to need at least four days anyway. To get the work stuff. To, to get, get everything stuff done. done. But yeah, it's actually, it's been hard-coded, which I thought was really cool. We, we were chatting about yeah. it, and I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. And then they'd say, well, there's a mod, which means you could fix it. Um, um, and uh, one of the scriptures was in chat, and he was like, yeah, it already is. It's, it's, oh. it's, it's hard coded to four days. Blimey! Okay, uh, that's going to be a fun that, one. Yeah, see that? I can't. Yeah, that'll be the first question. I can't change my yeah. months. I can't lower the months. Yeah, I want it on one day months. Read a manual. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, three days on um, Calmston, mm. and you know. <laughs> Not so much the work, but the feeding, and that's for me. What? It, yeah, I wasn't going to go any lower because it was just yeah. ridiculous. Um. So, oh, okay, that's an interesting thing. Mm. Yeah, that was that. That was that was one that surprised me. Mm. But is kind of makes sense. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's, so, but it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it, it it's gonna be it it's it's not gonna be something that is for everyone. No. Um, no. And I'm guessing for some people it won't be every time they play farm sim they'll want to use it. Yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I think that's. I'm, I'm a bit like that with most plus. Sometimes it's well, like the oaks. I've got I've mm. got one with them, one without. I don't know. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to get back into it and and refresh myself because I haven't been at him for ages. Like, right, I need to do a mix. <laughs> what am I? What do I need to do? That sort how of. How do I do that? How do I do that? What do I need to put in? Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I like using it. And I was thinking, I was like, oh, do I put it on the eggs? I thought, no, just keep that as a mm. away from it. Um, and then it's like, oh, what do I do with Terra Life? Sort of thing. But, Wait and see, I guess. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, it's definite wait and see. It's a long way off. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is it going to come to consoles? <laughs> no. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, dear. No, I know, and I'm just, because I can just... We were on about this earlier with what we were chatting about. about um... Limits stuff. Yeah, well, no, uh, the conversation that we briefly had um, about Facebook and how it's such a helpful mm. place. Ah, yes, yeah, yeah. And you think, you know, on Ox's page, you see that there's court house testing going on court farms. It's like, just be mm. patient and wait. Yeah. Uh, it, it came mean, up really? on... I don't see many of the posts on there. Facebook doesn't seem to throw them at me, but it came up mm. for... Um, on black sheet moddings for is it Valley of the Old Farm or whatever he's got they're yeah. working on and it's like where is it it's like well it's in testing yeah and it, it's a weird one as to when do modders start showing stuff 
Yeah. You know, because just like we, yeah, the Terror Life stuff, yeah, we're blatantly showing stuff month, probably more than half a year before it will be ready. Yeah. Um, but we're being really obvious about that. But, you yeah. know, at what point do you do, like, like the, um, the cinematic trailer is out for Court Farms. It's like, at what point do you do that? And I know Oxy quite often releases it early to people like Dagoin and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It... Um, and it's like, at what point do you do that and risk too much early excitement? Yeah, you almost... You lose the hype around it, don't you, then? Mm. Kind of. Um, yeah. Because people get... Well, people. I... <laughs> personally get really frustrated it's like well okay yeah i get it they're a massive um youtuber and it's a great platform for the for the map and for the mod but it's like it's just not fair yeah yeah I, i'm <laughs> exactly, exactly the same and, i'm exactly and, the same you know i guess it, it, it's done for a reason but like you say it's that timing of how soon is too soon mm -hmm. sort of thing yeah no I'm, I'm exactly the same as like when you see people getting previews of stuff it's like why don't I get that yeah um, why I quite liked when um, not only you but when uh, just had Adam sent the um, molasses tank for it daft as it sounds mm -hmm. like you know you sent me your dairy yeah. Just to have a quick play with, and he sent the molasses tank and sugar mill and stuff, and, and that was cool because I was like, ah, oh, that's nice, you know, like. I think it tends to be that apart from the really big, you know, like, obviously you send something to Dago in, obvious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But otherwise, I think people just send them to people they've made friends with. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, yeah, yeah. You know? I probably wouldn't send anything that I did to Dagoin for an early preview. No. Don't think he'd, he'd respond. No. Um, I considered sending stuff to DJ before in advance. Okay, yeah. Um, but again, I don't think he'd bother. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. He does do the odd, like, sort of early preview. Yeah. Well, he does, does he, in RG. Mm. Yeah, they'll get the odd... Um, map or whatever yeah. every now and again again I think quite often they're ones that are around their community I mean FSG is a bit different now that he's got 65 yeah. really. but yeah. you know I think quite often they kind of started from the they're the kinds of maps that they play and so hmm. yeah yeah that's true yeah Wind rowing yeah. is done. Awesome. I don't think I have time for us to collect all the bales up. No, I have had a request to do something at half past. Okay. So I will hop into the truck and we'll make a start. Yep, I've got uh, one, two, three, uh, four rows to go. Uh, Some of them are quite short. Sure. Auto yes. load. Yep. Why can I not? I'm pretty sure it does. I can't remember. I think is it one on where you press B to turn it on? I'm not sure. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Brain power there. I've been using one recently. That's the same. So. Uh very good. Yep. Right, let's... Oh, you're not far off. No. I've missed a few bits, but we'll get those next time. To be fair, um, for some reason, on every other row, it was missing the tiniest little bit mm -hmm. in places, but... It's a pretty I don't hefty think it's going swath. to mount too much. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good... Uh, not a bad year for considering that we've done absolutely nothing with it. Yeah, it's free, gr free grass. Free grass. Always nice. Gratis. <laughs> oh, Gratis. Oh, Is that from your little book? 
No, it's not actually. No, I haven't done that for a bit. I need to uh, remember. It made me think of finding. I've got, I've got one, um, a little book of not very good jokes. Yeah. Um, that Tina, you, know, you brought for me. So I, I should do the same because it, it basically just lives somewhere around my desk or in one of the drawers next to my desk. Yeah. Yeah, Marley's sat on the desk under the Xbox controller, and yeah, just I, I haven't. It's one of those things you don't want to do it to death, but mm. they are quite fun. Some of them. Some of your random facts have been very random. <laughs> yeah, it makes me chuckle. But yeah, it's like oh, I've just pushed a useful piece of information out of your brain, out of my brain for that. Yep. But, uh, yeah, with, yeah. with your limited RAM capacity. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't actually yeah. remember any of them, but when you read them out, they're quite funny. There was, oh, there was one about a pencil and how far you could draw a line. Something yep. about restaurants in New York, rainbows, whale farts. I remember the whale fart one. Something about was it size of a horse? Something like that. Um, uh, what else? I can't think. Yeah, just random, awesome, useless facts. Sorry, no, awesome, random, useless facts. Yeah. And they are all of that. They are all of the above. How far off are you, dear? I have two very short windrows to finish. Super. And we will be done. I assume you are off to the bail shed. Uh, I've just parked up. Are you? You're just loitering. Loitering, watching you work. For a change. For a change, yeah. I did find it slightly amusing that you went through all of the pain of unhooking the headers on the combines. I'm putting them in I the know. shed. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh. I need to stay around and go, oh, why are we selling those? We're going to flog them, yeah. Silly boy. Never mind. Oh, dear. I am done. Excellent. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> Sorry about that. Essex boy. Oh, there you are. <laughs> yep, you can you running away from me. Yeah, I couldn't see where you'd gone. That was fun. Very good. Yeah, it's uh, topped up with the hay anyway, hasn't it? Yeah, we'll tr maybe try and get on between videos and uh, get it all collected. Yes, that's probably a good idea, yeah. You can cool. finish up your bits of bailing that you missed. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wicked. Cool. cool. All right. Well, See you next week. Have week. a good weekend, mate. You too. Bye. Speak to you later. Bye.